I was in Chicago on an assignment and this man came to town with a, a fair amount of uh, coverage named Martin Luther, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, who was going to speak at uh, a huge, it might have been the Chicago Convention Center, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but uh, at that point he was uh, not yet a national figure. He was probably only in his middle, of, he was probably about my age, about in his middle or late 20s. And uh, uh, he came to raise money for uh, SCLC. And um, I was curious because I had, I had read about him and uh, I, had, I had the night free so I went to hear him speak and uh, there was this great big blank stage in this huge convention hall and there were thousands of people there. And um, Mahalia Jackson came out on the stage. It was a bare stage, nobody else on the stage, not even a piano. And she sang a couple of overwhelmingly powerful gospel numbers and then she looked out at the audience and she said and now I want you to meet the greatest man since Jesus mm. and that was quite an introduction <laughs> <laughs> and she left the stage and Dr. King uh, came out uh, with nothing but a, microf a microphone and <clears throat> talked about what was going on in Montgomery and uh, that he was there to try to uh, raise money for his organization and I was uh, really powerfully moved by, by what Dr. King said and it turned out he was going to speak at an African-American church in uh, South Chicago the next day and so I went over to hear him a second time and then I went back to my office and called New York and said I wanted to be transferred to Time Magazine uh, and go to the South. Mm. <laughs> I, had to, I had to see what was going on and when I got there uh, I had no idea uh, <laughs> what I was going to discover. 